I wanted to get your your uh, your kind of your origin story with Pink Floyd because I I believe I know Gary was considered a blitz kid. I, I'm sure um, yeah. guy same thing. Is it was it cool to like Pink Floyd? Like you no. know, like I was a punk. You Absolutely know, like not. if I like punk rock, you no, know, I could like the Grateful no, Dead. No, well, I think it's kind of no, might be kind of similar. It, it, um, no, it was much more visceral in Britain than over here. I mean, it was like you know, the music you listened to was the clothes you wore, and you had to be prepared to get beaten up for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, no, Pink Floyd was so so uncool, except for the Sid Barrett stuff. And I had this absolute crisis of confidence. I went to see the. I said went to because I love the Wall, but I couldn't tell you. I went to see them do the Wall every night at Earl's Court looking like Joe Strummer off London Calling, you know, <laughs> and feeling completely and utterly out of place. And and all the way through that, when I got the Pink Floyd gig amongst my peers, it wasn't it wasn't a cool gig to get. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But it was impressive. It was impressive, but it wasn't cool. Well, until, I, was, I was, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Gary. No, go on. No, go on. Well, until no, I'm waiting. Saying, I wait, waited was, with bated breath. <laughs> until... The whole acid house thing started. And then I remember when we played at Main Road in Manchester in 1988, and suddenly all these kids who Noel Gallagher told us were just was every football hooligan in the Northwest, <laughs> they all discovered ecstasy and they'd all discovered Pink Floyd. And we were suddenly the coolest thing in town. And it was brilliant. They they were too they happy to make circle. they were too happy to make judgments, really, weren't they? Uh, exactly. But I I I loved the Floyd um from Dark Side, I think, you know, because I was about 13 when I first heard that and went with my brother to see them do Dark Side of the Moon at, um, and I guess my, I must have only been 14 when they played uh, at Wembley Empire Pool and my brother would have been 12. Uh, and, you know, we think of only grown-ups going to see Pink Floyd, don't we? <laughs> but, um, you know, it, grown-ups weren't allowed into rock gigs ever. You know, you never saw There certainly them. weren't VIP ticket experiences back no. then. <laughs> and, um, and they they did they did Dark Side and they did um, they did some new material, which which eventually became parts of the next Animal. two albums, Shiny, Shiny Crazy Diamond and Animals. But uh, And I was really into them. And obviously when punk came along, I sold lots of my records from and i'm so upset about that but out of some <laughs> sort of deep connection politically i think i took them down to, to a cheapo cheapos in soho and sold all my prog rock <laughs> records <laughs> still trying to Gary, get them back you probably never even heard the wall when it came out did you it was just you know who would have who would have played it to you no i heard i i heard the wall when it came out for sure yeah. i mean i mean i was still keen at i mean what year was the wall guy 79 80 yeah. 79 oh no i would have i, I mean certainly because i mean every you know that every brick was a was a big single wasn't it and i did buy it buy it yes um you know i sort of secretly buy it you um, didn't you didn't tell I anyone did. In a I, did. I, I do have the copy of the wall <laughs> but the early stuff medal where medal come came into my life was definitely the old gray whistle test because which is a fantastic TV show we used to have on BBC Two, and it used to have lots of. It was a sort of art music show, and it had pr- progressive groups on it. And, well, it was uh, tour albums. It was based on albums rather than singles. That was the point. And there was a famous video that went with one of these days uh, of a, of cartoon ballerinas. Do you remember that guy? Yes, it was done by Ian Eames, and it was actually done for the band. But uh, they never, I don't think they used it live. We used it with David on the last tour, and I think that was the first time it was ever actually used alongside that song in concert. And, and because of that, I bought the uh, I bought the medal album. And, of course, Echoes, you know, it's just it's part, it's part of it. You know, whenever you turn up at people's houses late at night and people of a certain age in double denim, and they'd be, uh, they'd be playing... <laughs> Echoes, which is a phenomenal piece of music. 